there, everybody. My name is Christine Dravolovich, and I am from Woodview Mental Health and Autism Services, and I co-facilitate the Mental Health Awareness Week Committee with Lil Petrella, and she is from the Canadian Mental Health Association. And we would absolutely love to welcome all of you to our very first virtual Mental Health Awareness Week. Mental Health Awareness Week is community-led, and the goal is to reduce the stigma of mental health and raise awareness for mental wellness. Our amazing committee is comprised of various agencies, the school boards, and individual community members, which you will meet today and throughout the week. We would love to invite you to virtually join us on this amazing adventurous week by tuning into the various social media platforms that we have, such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can follow us at Brant Mental Health Awareness Week. Again, that's Brant Mental Health Awareness Week. There are many different interactive activities, such as chalking events all week long, a fun bingo game that you can win prizes, coffee house, story time, yoga, and meditation, just to name a few. If you have any pictures or information that you would like posted, you can email them to Libby at lright at woodview.ca. Again, that's L-W-R-I-G-H-T at W-O-O-D-V-I-E-W dot C-A. We really look forward to sharing our fun-filled activities with you while we all get loud and celebrate mental wellness virtual style. Have a great week, everyone, and thanks for joining. Hi, everyone. Are we ready to get loud for mental health? I'm Lil Petrella, team lead for the Mental Health Promotion Program at the Canadian Mental Health Association, Brand Haldeman, Norfolk Branch. I also co-chair the Brand's Mental Health Awareness Committee, along with Christine from Woodview. Just to talk a little bit about um, the services that our branch provides, we provide mental health services to persons 16 years of age and older living with mental illness and their families in Brantford, Brant, Haldeman and Norfolk counties. Our services and programs include Bounce Back, which is an online mental health support program for mild to moderate depression and anxiety. Uh, we have case management, counseling, housing support, including our crisis stabilization bed program and the brand safe bed program. We have mental health court support programs, vocational support programs, the alternatives activity center, peer support seconded by hope, mental health promotion. For more information on our agency's programs and services, visit bhn.cmha.ca. Currently due to COVID, we have suspended our face-to-face -face contacts. Supports, however, are still available by telephone, messenger, FaceTime, or email. To reach our brand office, our phone number is 519-752-2998. To reach our Haldeman Norfolk site, our number is 519-428-3424. We also have a toll-free number at 1-888-750. 7778. Now, all of you may be feeling cut off from the rest of the world or sidelined by our current COVID pandemic. Most of us have not really been through anything like this in our lifetime. But what we've been seeing is a wonderful sense of solidarity and people coming together to help one another through this situation. We need to practice physical distancing, not social isolation. So we need to stay connected to your family, our family, our friends, co-workers, neighbors, and anyone else that needs checking in. We also need to practice self-care and exercise. Now more than ever, it's very important to take care of our mental health as well. So remember this situation is temporary. We will get through this and we will help you get through this together. Hi everyone, it's Laurie from Family Counseling Centre of Brant. Once again, I am very excited and proud to be a member of the Brantford Mental Health Week Committee. Family Counseling Centre of Brant is a non-profit organization offering developmental services, counseling and financial empowerment across Brantford, Hamilton, Niagara and Haldeman Norfolk. Here we believe in relationship, community and celebration. We support individuals to improve their lives 
for a more positive future. Have a wonderful mental health week. Stay safe, stay strong. And remember, we are all self-isolating. You are not alone. We are here. Christine and I am from Woodview Mental Health and Autism Services. I'm excited to introduce you to some of the amazing people who are part of Woodview and who are going to help share our story. I would first like to introduce you to Flora Ennis. Flora is the Director of Services and System Planning for Brantford and the Director for Children's Mental Health in Hamilton and she is here to enlighten you with an overview of Woodview. Flora? Thank you Christine, it's an honor to be here. Woodview is an accredited mental health and autism service agency. We have been around for over 50 years. We provide services in Hamilton, Brant, and Halton. We service over 2,000 youth and families. We provide a wide range of services from early intervention to very intensive services. Our services are free and you don't have to have a diagnosis to be able to access our service. You will hear today from all the Woodview staff on how creative and innovative we are in providing services to all of you. In 2015, Woodview was designated the lead agency for children's mental health. That gave us an opportunity to provide leadership in our community and develop a community plan and also look at all of our services that we're providing. It also allowed us to work closely with our children, youth and families to hear from them. What is it that they want? What is it that works for them? Is what we're doing and providing working? And that is important for us. One of our values and our goal is to make sure that the children and family are in the center of the work that we provide. I have the honor to lead an amazing group of very skilled, creative, passionate staff, and you will hear from them all the work that they've been doing to provide services to all of you. Thank you, Christine. As Flora explained, we are part of three regions and in Brantford and Brant County, we have a few different locations of where we deliver our services. During this time of COVID-19, we are continuing to offer our programming, but we are doing it in a variety of different ways, such as telephone and video counseling. Video counseling is provided with a secure network that we use, and it is called OTN. Our actual buildings are where we typically meet with clients, facilitate meetings, groups, treatment for schools, and a number of wonderful programs that we will share with you now. The first location that we are going to talk about is our main Brantford office, which is located at 643 Park Road North in Brantford. Here we have a number of fabulous programs to tell you about. Hi, my name is Kelly from the office-based counseling therapy team here at Woodview. Our team provides counseling services and psychoeducation to children, youth, and their families. We also offer priority service to individuals experiencing an acute mental health challenge. We recognize that this is a challenging and uncertain time for many of us, and we want you to know that we are still here to support you. For the time being, our team is providing services virtually via phone and video conference appointment. To connect with or make a referral to our service, please call Contact Brant at 519-758-8228. Stay safe and keep connected. Hi, I'm Amanda from the Telemental Health Program. Telemental Health gives families the opportunity to access a child psychiatrist for a one-time consultation that allows for diagnosis, medication, and treatment recommendations. These specialized mental health consults are provided by three hubs, the Hospitals for Sick Children, the Child and Parent Resource Institute, and the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario. To inquire about this service, please call Contact Brant at 519-758-8228. Hi, I'm Robin from the Intensive and Early Years Program. Intensive and Early Years Program is non-traditional outreach counseling to support youth who are struggling in home, school, or the community. Being non-traditional means that instead of coming to the office for support, we come to you. We have sessions in your home and in the community. We work with families to develop strength-based goals 
for their child as well as support the family as a whole. Our services are flexible and accommodating, so we're able to work around families' busy schedules. We provide one-on-one -on -one sessions, parenting support, and case coordination to ensure that the family is receiving all the services that they need. Hi, I'm Christina from the Respite team at Woodview. Our respite program offers families a chance to reflect and recharge by offering short-term support to children and youth ages 5 to 18 who are struggling with their mental health and who have no other formal respite opportunity. Our respite services are goal-oriented and tailored to the needs of the child, youth, and family. Our support may include one-to-one -one support, group opportunities, and programming during school breaks. We have a really creative staff team who are looking forward to supporting your children or youth. To access respite services, please connect with Contact Grant at 519-758-8228. Hi everyone, my name is Libby Wright and I am the Wraparound Facilitator for Woodview Mental Health and Autism Services in Brantford. Wraparound is a program for our children with complex special needs, meaning that they have more than one diagnosis and multiple service providers involved. Wraparound itself is a team-based, family planning process that involves all the service providers and family supports, as well as the family and the child and youth. In these meetings, we work towards prioritizing needs, setting and planning for goals. Along with myself facilitating, I also have two outreach workers who work individually with the child and youth and their family to meet those goals and new, learn new skills. For more information about the wraparound program, please reach out to Contact Grant. Thank you. My name is Tristan and I provide walk-in mental health counseling support every Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Charing Cross Medical Center. We want you to know that Brant walk-in mental health services are open and available to children, youth, and families at these uncertain times. Appointments will be held over phone or video conference call. If you would like to schedule an appointment with us, please look below to the days and call the corresponding phone number to schedule. Good morning, my name is Craig Tustin. Um, I'm here to talk to you about the Parents for Children's Mental Health Support Group, or PCMH. Um, the support group is uh, for families to come together and share their stories. Um, and it's a peer-to-peer -peer support group that um, we get together and we talk about things and try to come up with solutions. Sometimes it's just great just to be heard and know you're not alone out there. Um, anyways, we, we do this the first Wednesday of every month. Um, if you'd like to participate, uh, it's from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, this next Wednesday, May 6, it's going to be done virtually. So if you can possibly all please email me, which would be ctustin at woodview.ca. Um, I'd love to hear from you and looking forward to meeting you. Thanks so much. Have a nice day. Alternative therapeutic programming with an educational component for grades six and up. Woodview has an elementary day treatment program as well as an adolescent day treatment program where the goals are to support youth in a small environment to achieve school success. Woodview has also been very fortunate to add additional services at our downtown location at Harmony Square where the address is 120 Colburn Street and we have units 106 and 107. Hi, my name is Sarah and I work at Woodby Mental Health and Autism Services in their second location, Woodview in the Square in downtown Harmony Square. We are very excited as this space gets to function as a youth hub, as well as offering Woodview services. The hub was co-created with youth who asked us to create a space to meet them where they're at, offering the right service at the right time in the right way. We also partnered with amazing community partners such as the Health Unit, Yao, St. Leonard's, Six Nations, the Boys and Girls Club, and the YMCA, and many others. Through, through these wonderful partnerships, we're able to offer drop-in programming for youth, and although it's currently been on hold due to COVID, you should stay tuned because there'll be more information coming. We also offer the walk-in counseling, which is currently being offered via phone or video conferencing. To stay up to date, please visit woodview.ca or Woodview on the Facebook page. But we're very excited that Woodview in the Square is joining the social media world and you will soon be able to find us online through co-created social media accounts that we are creating with youth. Stay tuned. Hi there, this is Ron Rivera from Woodview Mental Health and Autism Services. Today I'm going to be talking about our brief single session walk-in clinics uh, for children and youth and their families. Although we're not able to offer face-to-face -face counseling right now, 
um, we are still able to give support through phone or video conferencing. So the first one I want to talk about is um, Thursdays, 12 to 5.30 p.m. at Brent Mental Health Solutions, located at 139 Grand River Street North, 20, Unit 201 in Paris. If you'd like to receive services between 12 and 5.30, please call Brent Mental Health Solutions at 519-302-2300. Um, the second clinic I that we offer brief single session counseling is at Woodview in the Square, located at 120 Colburn Street, Brantford, Unit 106-107 in Harmony Square. Um, the clinic is open Thursdays and Fridays, 4 to 8 p.m. and Saturdays, 12 to 4 p.m. Uh, to receive services at these times, please call Woodview at 519-752-5308. And if you don't uh, get someone right away, please leave a message and we will get back to you as soon as possible or you could text um, 226-920-4427 to make an appointment. Okay, I hope this was helpful information and talk to you later. Hi there, this is Jill from Woodview. I just wanted to share some information about our SNAP program. SNAP stands for Stop Now and Plan. It is a program designed to help children ages 6 to 12 with their emotional regulation needs. Though we are not currently able to offer any physical programming, we are providing service by phone or video conferencing on both an individual and group format. To make a referral to our program, call Contact Grant at 519-758-8228. We want to extend a thank you to all of you for taking part and listening to our story. Be safe and stay well. Good morning, my name is Christy and I'm here from St. Leonard's Community Services. St. Leonard's Community Services provides programs and services in addictions and mental health, housing, justice and employment. The effort to address COVID-19 poses a range of challenges for individuals and families as they respond to the demands of the situation. As an agency, we want to ensure you that we are here to support you during this difficult time. While all of our services are still operational, we have had to make some necessary changes to the way our programs and services are provided in order to address the risks associated with COVID-19. Most of our non-residential services have suspended in-person programs and are instead conducting these services using virtual or phone-based interactions. The Brant Haldeman Norfolk Brand Clinic is still open. The Brantford Clinic is open Tuesdays from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., Fridays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at 347 Colburn Street East. A harm reduction supply program is offered at 133 Elgin Street only, using the window accessible from the West parking lot. In partnership with Brantford City Police and Brant County OPP, our crisis outreach and support team, known as COAST, will continue to provide short-term mental health counseling over the phone. Referrals can be made online through our agency website or by calling the crisis line. And as always, our 24-7 crisis line is available. The numbers are 519-759-7188 or 1-866-811-7188. We encourage you to utilize this service if you're ex experiencing a mental health crisis during this challenging time. Our residential services continue to operate and efforts have been made to mitigate the risk of exposure for staff and clients, such as enhanced client screening, increased efforts to sanitize physical space, and limiting group interactions. Our withdrawal management and treatment services are still open. St. Leonard's Community Services continues to strive to meet the needs of our community. And just because we can't get together right now, doesn't mean that you have to go through this alone. We have resources to support you. Please do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you and stay safe. My name is Caitlin and I'm a youth team member from Parker's Project. I'm here today to talk about who we are and what we do in the community. Almost 15 years ago, a newborn boy was found in Brantford Park. In an anonymous letter sent to the police, the young mother shared that she didn't know where to turn for assistance and was scared to approach anyone she knew about her situation. Parker's Project, named after that unidentified infant, is a youth-led community collaborative project. 
a collaborative of youth and community agencies that was formed to oversee a needs assessment to investigate what pregnant and parenting youth identified as needs in terms of support in our community. Parker's project was designed to empower vulnerable youth to become change makers in our community. We offer mentorship, training and support to pregnant and parenting youth. We are currently working on two working group tasks, um, which are gonna help to meet some of the needs of the pregnant and parenting in our community. So our first working group task that we are going to be doing is our day-to-day. Uh, -day. Uh, we're gonna be hosting a virtual online budgeting workshop with a credit counselor geared to families with focus on a monthly budgeting, as well as provide families with the current information of supports that are and programs that are available um, due to the COVID-19, which I believe is an absolutely amazing thing. Um, there will be two times available in May. We're looking at the end of May, so you'll have to look for a flyer on our Facebook page um, and information on that. Um, the other thing that we are working on is we're also hosting a virtual online education fair. Um, this education fair um, is to um, offer parents information on their education options in the community, whether it's going back, going to college or going back to high school or um, going to uh, different programs that uh, meet your needs. There's so many available. Um, the last thing that we're doing is we're starting up our parent mentorship program again. Uh, this program was designed to support moms with various parenting needs and struggles. Um, and the supports, all of our peer mentor mentors are either already gone through issues or are currently going through issues. Um, and we're trying to open this back up, especially now because of the COVID-19 um, and a lot of the mental health is there. Um, so we're hoping that moms will reach out to that. So please, please, please look for that as well. Um, and if you need the help, please reach out. Um, we want to say we love you all. Uh, thank you, everybody, for your support. Um, and please, again, if you need the help, reach out. We're all here. Thank you. Hello, my name is Shannon, and I represent Hope, otherwise known as Helping Ourselves Through Peer Support and Employment. On behalf of everyone at HOPE, I would like to thank you for including us in your Get Loud for Mental Health Week activities. At HOPE, peer support is the core to all that we do. Um, we are a nonprofit organization run by and for consumers of uh, mental health services in Brantford and Brant County. And uh, all of our employees and volunteers have lived experience with mental illness and wish to use their experience to help support others. Uh, Hope offers a variety of peer support services, um, including our after hours drop-in, where we say, uh, host a safe, non-judgmental um, drop-in every Saturday. Um, we also um, run our We Care program, where we provide hygiene kits and one-on-one uh, -on -one peer support for uh, mental health inpatients right here in Brantford. And our Mood Walks program, where we uh, host group hiking and walking activities on a weekly basis. Um, additionally, Hope hosts a lot of special events throughout the year, including our recovery breakfast in which we celebrate our recovery journey from mental illness and uh, from addiction, and our annual Walk for Hope fundraising event. Although many of our programs have been affected by COVID-19, um, we are still offering peer support service uh, through phone and texting during these difficult times. Those seeking peer support can call um, our program manager, Joanne, at 519-751-1694. Uh, uh, between nine to five on weekdays and she'll be more than happy to talk to you and offer support. Um, we would like to thank our participants and uh, supporters um, and let you know that um, although we cannot see you, you remain close to our hearts and we greatly appreciate your support and involvement in HOPE activities. 
Uh, we will let you know when we are able to restart our programming and look forward to seeing you again, hopefully in the near future. Um, in the meantime, please don't give up hope and enjoy all of the uh, activities we have here for Mental Health Week. Thank you so much. Karen Gibbons from Margo's Place. For those of you that haven't heard of Margo's Place, we're a relatively new program that partners with some local amazing organizations to offer support to young moms in the Brantford community. Here's a snapshot of what our weekly programs look like. Make sure to follow us on Facebook for our program details. We have been overwhelmed by the success of Margo's Place and the positive impact we've made on our community. We have grown faster than we could have ever imagined. Since our opening, over 100 moms have walked through our doors. We asked some of them if they would recommend Margot's Place to other moms, and here's what they told us. I would definitely recommend Margot's Place to other moms. It's such an open and inviting and comforting place. They don't judge you. I have such bad anxiety that I never wanted to go out of my house. I started to get postpartum depression once my son turned a year, and I didn't want to do much and then I wake up in the morning and think, hey, it's Tuesday, I get to go to class. Or hey, it's Thursday, I get to go to class. And when Crock-Pot was on, guess what? Yesterday I got to go to class and today I get to go to class. It makes it so much nicer to be able to wake up and know that I can go somewhere that is truly accepting doesn't matter if you come in a bad mood, if you come in your pajamas, if you come with your hair up, no makeup done. If you just come, they're always there for you. And it's really boosted my confidence to help raise my son and make myself feel better. I would definitely recommend Margot's Place to a friend and I have probably every chance I get. Um, I just, I think it's an excellent program. I think it's great for learning things as a mom as well as interacting with your children and just lots of great supports and resources there. It's just a more homey feeling. There's no judgment even from the staff as well as the other moms. It's a, it's a very welcoming place. I have recommended Margaret's Place to other moms. Um, I think it's just a good experience for younger moms, um, new moms. It's just kind of non-judgmental and laid back. I love mom to mom because there's child minding on site. We don't always get that break and it's fun. We've played everything from spoons to making bath bombs later. We don't always, as mothers, take time for that self-care. You guys ensure that that is something we still do and you support us in doing that. You feel welcomed and supported no matter what it is. It's non-judgmental. Um, I'm constantly recommending Margo's Place to moms. Margo's Place is home, so I like to have other people that can come in and like enjoy just being at home. It's I like that mom to mom gives you a break from your kids, even if it's just like that hour. It's a little bit of time to just refresh and recharge and spend time with other moms. I would recommend Margot's Place and I do recommend it to like everybody because it's fantastic and it gives me, it gives moms a chance to like have mom talk without children, which is really important because it doesn't happen very often. So about two and a half years ago, um, I had such severe anxiety that I could barely leave my house without someone with me. Since Margot's Place, that has changed tremendously. I've never felt judged walking through the doors of Margot's Place. So I could come here with my life falling apart and it was perfectly fine and there was never any like looking down on you because your life was falling apart because stuff happens. and I'm a resource coordinator from Contact Brand. Contact Brand is an agency that refers children, youth, and their families to mental health services and developmental supports. Although our office is closed, all of our staff are working hard to help you in every way that we can. We are immediately available by phone or can arrange a virtual meeting by Zoom if you prefer. We continue to complete intakes, refer to services, and provide information. 
We are also working closely with families and our community partners to help you get through this and any other concerns that you may have. We strive to erase the stigma of mental health. We want to embrace that we are all different and celebrate those differences. We are all in this together. We are all trying to adapt to our new normal, which we recognize as different for each person. Keeping or getting connected, reaching out to family, friends, and professionals can help. Let's do this and get loud for mental health. Don't put it off any longer. If you don't know who to call, call Contact Brant at 519-758-8228. You don't need a formal referral and there is no cost involved. We are here for you. Together, we are stronger. Erase the stigma of mental health. Stay safe, everyone.